G'day. Today we're doing a service on a Toyota Land Cruiser Prado 99 model and it's the VZJ95R. Now we'll just have a look at the little cables there. You can see this cable here, the accelerator cable, it's a little bit loose so we could probably tighten that up a little bit. And this cable, that one runs down, down here and back to the transmission. So you can muck around with the adjustment on that and get uh, the shift pattern changing a little bit firmer or softer as well as the kick down. So we'll just start by taking the oil out. There's a little dipstick here under, the, under that pipe that goes to the air cleaner. And we've got a vacuum pump so we'll poke a hose in there and just suck a bit of the oil out. Makes the job a little bit less messy. Now yeah, these have got the A343F transmissions in them and you can see that the, the exhaust sort of moves right around and under that pan. So we've got to actually re remove this little piece here to be able to take that pan down. Yeah, good idea to just have a look around, make sure there are no oil leaks or anything out of whack there. Seems to have a little bit of oil there. Coming, looks like rear main seal. Have to have a better look. Sometimes the oil will run down along the, the little nooks and crannies if it's leaking up higher, so you just want to confirm that. If you don't have a vacuum pump, these have a little drain plug. You can let the oil out there. It'll make it a little bit less messy when you're dropping the pan. Now when you're taking some exhaust bolts off, the rusty ones, good idea to give it a soak in WD-40 or CRC or something like that. Even diesel is alright sometimes. And don't, don't just try and undo them with a rattle gun or just snap it off. You've got to actually work them off sometimes, otherwise you'll possibly break the bolt and create a bigger job. The ones up on the exhaust manifold up there, you've got to be very slow with them and, and patient when you're getting those off. Here we go, we've got the four bolt filter on these and there are a couple of different variations of that filter. They'll have like a little hole in here as well and I believe there's a three bolt filter as well. So you want to make sure you get the right one. Now you can see that little cam there that that cable's connected on. You can tighten it up a little bit. You can see how it works, pushes that valve as you cable comes off. And also on these you've got this little valve here and what you can do is you just push that valve in and you can actually turn that step so you'll see there's little, like little steps there. It's hard to see from this angle because I can't because I've got that front uh, tail shaft going to the front diff but you can if you need to boost the pressure a little bit you just want to push that that little cup in a little bit. If you want to back it out, you turn it come out. That looks like it's set on the highest mark anyway there. If you can see that. And of course you've got the rest of the solenoids here. You can take them out quite easily. Sometimes it's a good idea to just whiz them out, demagnetize them, give them a flush.
Now I've got the pan, you can see the magnets, got a fair bit of muck on there. And it's a good idea to leave them up on the ridge like that just so they can work top and bottom. We've done a service on this one a while back. You can see we leave them up on there. If I was to flip that over you'd see that there's some of that fine metal caught underneath as well. But once the transmission's done over 200,000 k's it's a good idea to do a shorten the interval between services. This one's done a bit over 400,000 k's so you can see very good idea to do a regular service on it. Now just to show you this series of transmission the A340 series they do have quite a few different types of filters there. You can see how many for this basically the same transmission. So what you want to look for is that the pickups the same, the little snorkel, and also how many feed holes on top of the filter. You'll have two, three pickup holes, and how many bolts are on the filter. So we put the right filter back in. That one's got the 25 mil pickup or snorkel. Now because the pan gasket's so large on these, you want to make sure that you put all the bolts in and not cross thread them. What can happen if you misalign the hole, you'll cut into the gasket hole and then it can cause a leak later down the track. So the idea is to put all the bolt holes on with the pan loose and then you can tighten it up. On the TriTech website, And you can use the full synthetic multi or Dextron 3. So we're putting in 5 litres of the Dextron 3. You can put the multi full synthetic in it as well if you choose to. But uh, the base one's a Dextron 3. Now one little thing that I do when I'm measuring the oil, I put this rubber tube in there just to hold that little uh, bracket there to stop the filler tube from popping out just until we get it all uh, the oil level right and then you can just take that out it just saves popping it in and out you can see there's not much room there anyway I hope that helps don't forget to like and subscribe uh, any comments or recommendations even put them in the section below don't forget to throw us a beer if, if we deserve one or three. Thank you for watching.